Hello everyone. This is Ishka, our five-year-old Frisian mare, um, who I just wanted to do a little bit of video to explain a bit about the condition that she's, she's got at the moment. Um, Ishka has aortopulmonary fistulation, which is a problem within the Frisian breed that affects about 2% of the Frisian population. And I just want to share with you some of the symptoms that we found her with so that it's something that you can be aware of in case you come across the same problem with your own horse. So Ishka was bred here on our farm. Um, she's never had any complications or any health issues. Um, and everything about her has been very straightforward right from when she was born. As I say, she's five years old now, um, and she was backed as an early four-year-old and has done a little bit of work, a little bit of schooling. But over this last winter, she was turned out and living out and not working. And on New Year's Eve 2014, we saw that she was lying down in the field, which wasn't unusual for her, but for a longer period of time than usual. On checking her, she, she got up reluctantly, but she was very, very reluctant to move. Um, and it took a very long time to get her to move out of the field to, to the gate where the vet came to see her. When the vet arrived, um, in all senses, she looked like a perfectly normal, healthy horse um, who was just extremely lethargic at times. Her breathing rate was fine, her temperature was fine, and her, her coloration of, of her pigments were, were also fine. However, when he put his hand on her neck, along her jugular here, he found that she had a pulsating hammer heartbeat, which ordinarily should be around about 44 beats per minute and hers was fluctuating between 60 and 108 beats per minute and was very irregular. We brought Ishka back to the stables and we rested her and this hammer heartbeat remained and became a little bit more um, consistent and stabilised after a few days without medication to about 60 beats per minute. Myself and my vet were a little bit baffled about what was going on with Ishka, um, so I discussed it with him and like everybody does, I, I googled the symptoms that she had and I also looked at um, the Fenway Foundation who do an awful lot of research in America into hereditary defects and conditions affecting the Frisian horse in particular. Here I found an article on aortic rupture and aortic fistulation in the Frisian. It was something I was aware of but having never dealt with it before I'd never really researched it very much. The condition, as I said earlier, affects about 2% of the Frisian population, as opposed to the conditions of dwarfism and hydrocephalus, which affect 0.25% of the population. So everything I read and everything I heard in, in the presentations that I, I looked at through the Fenway Foundation suggested that this was the problem that Ishka had. Fortunately, I was lucky enough to meet Catherine de la Salle and Marco Brune, at the Frisian Stallion Show in 2015 and chatted to them about the symptoms that Ishka was showing. They pretty much confirmed that this was the problem that Ishka had and at that stage they told me that there, there was no cure. Um, we would lose her within the next couple of weeks to months. That was in the middle of January 2015. So after speaking to Catherine and to Marco um, about the condition and about what to expect, I spoke to my own vet who recommended that we speak to John Keane at Edinburgh University who is a heart specialist. 
John very kindly agreed to see Ishka up in Edinburgh and we, we took her up there, which was a long journey for her, but she coped very well. And he suggested that if he thought there was any way that they could do some kind of experimental surgery to try and save her, he would have, be happy to do that. So we took her up there and they did all the relevant tests to try and identify whether this was the problem. Um, and they did confirm that she had aortopulmonary fistulation. Unfortunately, the damage to her aorta was too extensive and there really was nothing that, that could be done. So we brought Ishka back home and said that we would let her live her days out here naturally. Um, we hoped that we would see her through till the spring, maybe the summer, um, and that she could live her last days out in a nice paddock. John told us all the signs to look out for, for her going into actual heart failure and sadly last week we started to see those signs. Some of the signs to look out for we were told were her having regular bouts of colic, having a raised temperature. Um, she hasn't had either of those but what she did do was she started coughing which is a sign of the fluid that was building up in her lungs. She's also in the last week developed a slight thickening of her hind leg, so swelling of the legs can also be a sign. More recently, last week, down between her front legs here on her chest, she has two large swellings. And then when we look round underneath her stomach, and is she? we can also see a large edema under here. What also happened last week was a hammer heartbeat that we could feel and felt more like waves of blood running down her jugular, which I don't know if the video is going to be able to pick that up, but you can actually see the blood pumping down her jugular here and at times you can actually see this area of her her chest pulsating as her heart is working overtime so today sadly is is ishka's last day we we've made the the heartbreaking decision to um let her go before her, her heart completely deteriorates and she becomes very uncomfortable. Um, as I say, we wanted to make this video um, because it, it is something that we want other owners to be aware of. I'm sure there's many Frisian owners out there who have, have suffered this problem with their own Frisian. And to also say, this is where we, we must have total respect for the KFPS and the stud book and the way they are managing the breed because this is a condition they are very very much aware of in the breed and just as they have recently introduced the DNA testing for hydrocephalus and dwarfism the plan and they're hoping I believe in about the next 12 months there will be a DNA test available to identify which horses are carriers of this absolutely terrible condition for which there is no cure. Ishka will have samples taken from her tomorrow which will be sent over to um, Catherine and Marco to help with their ongoing research into this problem and into trying to identify the DNA and the, what causes it and hopefully her along with all the other horses that have been part of this study in time there will be a way that this problem can be bred out of the Frisian horse and it's only by the work that the KFPS and the universities do and the Fenway Foundation that this can be done and the breed can be improved. So again this is Ishka, our beautiful mare who sadly we are going to lose tomorrow but She's been an amazing horse to have around. We've loved every minute with her. And if 
her purpose is just to try and help educate others and hopefully be part of this study to find out how we can get this problem out of the breed, then she's had a very, very useful, useful life. Thank you for listening.